Don't read book, read the nature. You want happiness in your life or you want so much money. If you have so much money and if you are not happy then what is the use of that money? So I am talking about the education. Education must be like this. Man, you our body has lots of memory and we don't need to educate our every cell of body that we have made of is consist of say different cells that has a their own intelligence and they have a memory so we don't need to educate ourselves we are born educated we are not alone in this planet we have all the different creatures like monkey like tiger like lion they all have their life just like that we are we all humans have their life but we are not happy and we after educating this much after having so much technology and the monkey that they don't educate themselves but they are living happily their life so why we are not because we are doing wrong we don't need to educate ourselves you don't need to read book you read, need to read the nature you need to read the real tree you need to sit down below the tree and you have to think about it you have to feel the air you have to feel the atmosphere you have to be real you don't need to see the tree in a mobile or a television or in a book you don't need to read book and don't need to read book you don't follow others follow your own thoughts your own emotion so question is that how this universe came into existence so i am telling you the biggest secret of this universe is that in this universe has always been existed we and you die the exist the universe never dies the universe is always existed there is a there is a space and all material things in the in the universe in the cosmos and there is no time time is just a measurement of that changes of that materials changing from one form to another form just like energy there is energy in every atoms and that is just changing and just we feel we have an illusion that something is going on something is moving on so we are thinking that year is passing year is coming next year is coming like that but it is not like that it is a illusion life is an illusion it is just happening in your mind so marriage how it should be so i'm gonna one line i'm saying without love there should not be any marriage now if you are doing arranged marriage so i'm going to tell you what will be the consequences of that arranged marriage look how the human body form and the human mind is that what kind of at the time of you know the birth at the time of being or at the time of without love if you are marrying someone and if you are forcefully you know making child so that child will never follow your your voice man he will not follow you he will not be happy he will all the time thinking lots of thoughts and that will destroy your life too because we all are connected you if your son is not happy if your son's future is not bright how can your old age will be bright yeah so without love there should not be any marriage